Alright, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be a demonstration video of the objective markers to, uh, blueprint. And I do promise the blueprint tutorial is coming soon to finish off what we started with that blueprint tutorial from a few weeks ago. Um, you'll see that within the next couple days, so just keep hanging in there and you'll get what you want here with the tutorial. I'll show you how to make everything that's involved with the objective markers, how to add and remove your own custom ones, everything like that. Uh, what I wanted to demonstrate here is just, you know, a walkthrough on how everything works, how it functions. You know, I made, I made a simple environment just to walk around in, kind of show how the objectives can change, how you can set them, everything like that. Uh, so just to start before we even play, uh, the very first blueprint you need to put in that will be included with the tutorial is uh, this one right here. It's the blueprint for initializing the objective marker. And if I go back in. Uh, what this is called, it's called the Objective Marker Initializer. This is the one you have to start with, and you can add whatever objectives you want to this one initially. Uh, without this, uh, things will be broken immediately. You won't be able to add or remove anything. You won't be able to set objectives or anything like that. Uh, so this one right here is the most important one you want to have in your level. And by default, if you play, it sets this preview mesh over here as your objective. Um, but past that, you'll have these things here. Uh, they're called the Objective Marker Volume. And they have a couple different parameters here. First, it contains the original objective list. So it has the first objective or set of objectives you'll have when you use the initializer. Uh, past that, you'll have an array called Add Objectives, where you can add as many objectives as you want. Um, and it works as it, like a trigger volume. So as soon as you touch this volume, it adds your objectives that you want. It removes objectives that you want. And if you really wanted to, you can check this box here uh, for clearing the objectives list, and then I'll remove all the objectives. So you'll want to use this one once you're done with objectives. You don't want to use it for a while until you hit another volume, things like that. Um, you can also have a parameter here. It's called clear player added objectives. Uh, you check this if you want to remove for any custom uh, markers that a player might add. Um, in the functionality that I have for this blueprint, players are able to add and remove actors into this objective list uh, by using the left click to add and the right click to remove. So you can hit this checkbox here uh, to remove any player added objectives. So let's give this a play. Um, like I said, by default we'll have this marker and you know, we can spin around, shows it on screen, indicates distance, everything like that. Um, if you wanted to, you could set up a volume next to this. So when you touch it, it removes it from the objective list and you can kind of set up a new objective. Uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I have you know multiple rooms that you can go into. Uh, each doorway adds you know, objectives or removes objectives. So if we go into this room right here, we have three objectives added. We have the pyramid, we have that preview mesh up there, and then we have that box over there. And if you wanted to left click, uh, it does a ray trace uh, right now. I believe it's a couple hundred feet away. So you can just left click and it adds a new objective. You can also go to a previously made objective, right click on it and remove it. Uh, it only works with actors, so it doesn't work with BS BSP or anything like that. So if I try clicking on the ground, nothing happens. If I click on uh, the lamp, it adds it. I can right click to remove it. So you can do all of that. And then, you know, we can move on to the next room. Add new objectives, move them. You can add them. And the adding of the objectives, it adds the marker indicator on the root base location of the actor. So keep that in mind if you want to make custom meshes. Uh, for example, with this mesh right here, uh, its center pivot is kind of off. Uh, so just keep that in mind if you want to add objectives. Make sure that the pivot is located at the center of the object if that's what, really what you want. And you can move them here. Do what you want. Add, remove, and then come out here. Add, remove. So it's pretty dynamic. You have full control over what objectives are added, what aren't, uh, especially with these parameters. Like, for example, this one, it doesn't have, you know, this one, it was able to uh, add and remove as soon as you walked into this room. This adds and removes when you walk into this room. You have a lot of control over what you want to do. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that it was universal, make sure that people understood how it worked. Um, so again, it mostly is to 
blueprints. It's the initializer right here. And then any of these volumes. And you can make these functions as much as you want, how they work, what they add, what they remove. Um, and then past that, it's really just the HUD itself. And just to give you a preview of what the HUD looks like, and this is what we're going to cover in the tutorial when I put that up in the next few days. Uh, it's a lot of geometry, so keep that in mind if we zoom out. This is what it is. Uh, everything's commented <laughs> so that you know what you're looking at, and we can kind of go over it together. Um, and also, I am going to plan on selling this blueprint on the Unreal Engine 4 Marketplace. I haven't submitted it just yet, but I plan on doing it. Uh, so you can follow these tutorials that I'm going to put up here to create on your own, or you can go through the marketplace and purchase there. Um, I'm not set on a price just yet. Most likely it's going to be somewhere between $5 and $10. Um, but if you want to learn how to do it for free, you watch the tutorials that I'll set out and make for you. But if you don't have the time or resources or anything, you can purchase it on the marketplace once it gets approved by Epic. Uh, so that's the demonstration that I wanted to put out here. Um, I also had a lot of fun building this environment. Uh, I just used all the default assets you get with the first person template. So it was fun making all these random shapes, trying to make cool architecture and everything. So uh, I'm going to include uh, this uh, level with the actual blueprint uh, for the marketplace. You got to come with this level, all the blueprints, the HUDs, uh, the character, uh, the player controller, everything that you need. And uh, from there, you can do whatever you want with it. So. Uh, keep an eye out on that on the marketplace. It should be up hopefully soon. I still have to apply and speak with Epic about doing that. Uh, but the tutorials will come either tomorrow or the next day. So it's going to be very soon. I know you guys have been really wanting it. And I keep kind of putting it off just because I want to tinker with it, uh, perfect it as much as I can before creating the tutorial for you guys. But I promise it's coming soon. Uh, so again, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, any concerns as well. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And uh, keep an eye out for the tutorial coming out in the next few days. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Peace!